Hi, my name is Stratos. In this video, we're going to see how we can create a custom dashboard for our WordPress website. So this is the dashboard. You can see it by going dashboard and home. And this is an empty dashboard. At this time, I have empty everything by going to screen options and uh, unchecking everything from here. If you have here anything, you will see that pretty much every dashboard is the same as the next one and uh, we can use a plugin to change all of those there is a plugin that can use the Elementor page builder that we're going to use now there is a plugin that uses the Ocean sorry the Beaver builder and there's a plugin that can use the Divi okay the Elementor and uh, Beaver builder are free plugins but the Divi is a paid one let's go here and add the plugin we will go ahead and select add new and let's go here and we will write dashboard and welcome and we will find the welcome plugin for the beaver builder as you can see 3000 installation and it's free and here it's for elementor five uh, seven thousand installation and also free i will activate it if you want to buy the dv dashboard welcome it will cost you 22 bucks and i will put it in the link description below and let's go here and since we have activated now if you didn't have elementor installed it will say please install elementor to use it and let's go to templates and we're going to save templates and uh, let's go and trust this one this is for a test that i made before and let's go to add new and we're going to select a page and name it dashboard dashboard create a template and the first that we want to go to do is go to settings and we're going to change the page layout to Elementor canvas so we have a full width and this will remove uh, the the header and the footer because we don't want to have it in the, inside this page so let's go and just hit publish or save and we're going to add here one header uh, well, I will start building something very simple just to show you what you can do here it's a uh, contact us or something else uh, basically you can use it if you're building sites for other clients for an, other persons and you can go ahead and create a custom uh, dashboard to help them find you and it's more professional looking website let's go and add intersection here here I will put uh, some icons no social icons okay social icons here okay this is very good and then I can put here my form uh, which I think I don't have right now let's go and see this is a pre-made template okay it has forms so all forms and let's go and grab this one i hope <laughs> it's a, a good form okay let's go and add the short code and let's paste it here okay this is the the a contact form that was created with the astra uh, template and let's go and add another section here uh, two columns right here and i will add here a video okay where's the video here's the video with something we don't care right now and here i will add a toggle okay be sure not to keep uh, the, to keep uh, the page uh, short 
not too long you can use toggle you can use tabs you can use something to add more information in a little space okay you don't want the owner or any visitor to go ahead and scroll down to find something so be sure to use tabs toggles or something else to put more information in a little space let's go and add here a spacer and here i will add some padding not 100 way too much 50 uh, 30 and here another 30 okay updated and we're good to go okay this is a very basic uh, page just to show you how the plugin works so let's go back to our website exit dashboard Okay, let's go and open this one just to have it uh, refreshed in the last minute and we're going to tools not tools sorry settings dashboard welcome elementor and here we will select the template that we did uh, create now as you can see here you can create multiple uh, pages and use it for and for the user role okay if the other is administrator he can see this if he's a subscriber he can see something else maybe a description how he can a tutorial how he can upload something or he can use something or something else you don't want to see uh, everything okay so uh, this is, is dismissible i will check this and you will understand what it is in a moment i will click save changings and let's go back to our dashboard and refresh the page you will see here uh, on the top of the page what we created and at the bottom there are still the other things that we did okay, the other things that we had before okay so it does not override all those things it's just add here a section i think it's good to add here a section and you can also have here analytics or something else that you want okay so uh, as you can see here we have a dismissed so if you click dismissed here everything here will close and he and the visitor will still see everything like this now there is a missing option here if you want uh, to only display this block and you want to remove everything that's behind you cannot do it with the plugin so you can only sorry uh, welcome is here you can only have this one and four blocks right down here which is a little bit ugly so there's no anything you can do with this plugin hopefully the creator will add something and you can do more with that now uh, i want to show you a new plugin that has come uh, around it's very early uh, this plugin it uh, has only two versions i think change along yeah two versions 1.0 1.03 i tested it out i bought and tested it out i sent first a message to the owner it uh, didn't seem very professional but he responded immediately and he told me that i can uh, test the plugin it's a new plugin and um, my question was because there are no dates here i didn't know if he had created something and abandoned it of a, or it was a new plugin so he re responded that it was a new plugin that it is a new plugin and he's going to uh, make it better as times goes by and from the feedback that he will get uh, now this time it's only 24 bucks and you can use it in any page builder that you want elementor dv oxygen uh, custom css as you can see in html uh, wp bakery and every page builder that we have so uh, you can i will show you how it's used now keep in mind that the first uh, version the the 103 has problems it's not as good it's very early for this plugin i don't know how much uh, before how much he first launched it so let's go here in plugins and install plugins i will deactivate this and i will enable this one this is 104 that he sent me to do some tests um, he immediately respond to me and that's what i like it and uh, he said i i sent him over 10 points that i wanted to be changed and he respond to every single one of them which 
Uh, it's something right, uh, that I li- really liked. Okay, <laughs> so uh, how it works now. Let's go here. Uh, I have, as you can see, I have activated this and I go to settings, dashboard switcher. I will put it in a new tab. Okay, and you can see here, I uh, will remove this, submit again. Let's go here and refresh the page. Okay, so it's an empty page now and I want to go here and create a new page. It doesn't work with templates. This is something that's different with this plugin. It only uh, can work with uh, pages because the templates do not have a URL. Okay, the plugin expects a URL to put in here and click submit. So uh, for the Elementor, if I go here, templates and save templates, I cannot see the template, I think in, can I see it? No, no, it doesn't have any front page. Okay, this is something that you only see, I think, in the back end. Let's go and test it out, but I think it cannot be used. Okay, let's go and refresh. Yeah, it's not working. So you have to use the pages. So let's go to pages and add new page. And we called, we will call the page test one, test one. It doesn't matter, uh, disable title, disable footer, disable header, feature image, disable breadcrumb, disable everything and no sidebar, full width stretch and publish. Keep in mind that you have to use a page builder that can disable the footer and the header because it will grab the page as it is and will add it in the dashboard. So please make sure that you have removed everything. You can use the Elementor canvas or you can use the Astra page builder and remove what you have created or if you have not Astra Page Builder, what did I say, Astra Page Builder, Astra Theme. If your theme does give you the opportunity to disable the header and the footer, please do so, because you don't want to see the header and the footer inside the dashboard. So if you're using the Oxygen, you can do it by when creating. If you're using the PV Builder, I think there is an option to disable everything. So uh, it's like building a, a landing page. So let's go here and we create the same one. Yeah, let's go and copy all of those and create the same page. Add with Elementor. So uh, it doesn't matter which page builder you are going to create. It just grab the page and offer it to you in the dashboard. Let's go copy here and paste it here. OK, and let's go and copy the next one and paste it right here. So this is my page, I will update it. Let's go now to pages, all pages. And we're going to view the test one page. So let's go and view it. And this is, as you can see, the URL that we are having here. So let's go and put it right. Where was it? <laughs> okay, this was the place, submit. And as you can see here, I click submit, but I don't have any confirmation that uh, it did the trick, but it has done it. So let's go here and refresh the page. And nothing is working. Okay, very good. So <laughs> submit again. And let's go and refresh. Oh, sorry, I have yeah, this is uh, this is for the, because it's a only beta version. Okay, so uh, I'm sure they will be fixed everything. And as you can see here, you have this one. But as you can see here, I have also this, which is the uh, bar, the administrator bar. Okay, so this is not good. Uh, uh, the plugin is still in beta version. I hopefully it will get better. I'm not saying that you should buy it or anything else, but it's not an expensive plugin and maybe it will get better. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.